Bariqua, Moena, Bariqua, Moena. Yeah, baby, it's that black and brown coalition, baby. Teddy ain't no. <laughs> he ain't had no idea, dog. This Mac the Guru, if this your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is my review of Snowfall Season 6, Episode 8. And boy, did it work in Franklin's favor. And I ain't gonna lie. Watching it towards the end, I just didn't know. Until Ruben showed up, I just didn't know. I remember seeing that scene in the trailer of Ruben coming. And I'm like, yo. When is that going to happen? And then I kind of forgot about it. And then he saved him from the DEA, knocks all of them off, just takes out the DEA, saves Oso, and then they show up. It also turns on Ruben. That's the part that really threw me off because in my head I'm like, yo, why Oso turn on Ruben? Like, I thought Ruben would start to really say today, but he wasn't. And then Oso turns on him, takes him out, and then saves Franklin. I'm like, oh, my God. I thought Franklin was going to go, dog. Because the, these fools tussling and fighting. The little thing that Franklin is hanging on by a thread with his feet, it falls over. And then he's choking, but then Oso saves him. And I know Teddy in his mind was like, bruh. I can't believe what is happening right now. <laughs> I know he was like, what is going on? Because even when Oso was handcuffing Teddy, Teddy still think Oso on his side. He like, hey, man, he talking to him while he handcuffing him and all that. And then they start fighting. So this whole point, think about from Teddy's standpoint, this whole time when Oso walk in, Ruben got the gun on him. He holding Oso from the back. In Teddy's mind, he like, okay, Oso still on my side. Oso handcuffs him. He's still like, Oso still on my side. Oso start fighting with Ruben. This whole time, Oso still on my side. After he beats up Ruben, knocks him out, bare hand, do Ruben dirty. But you, you think about it, Oso a big boy. And he was wrestling and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no way you was going to win that one. But after this, he then saves Franklin. I'm like, yes, that's my dog. You know what I'm saying? Because I would have hated if Oso would have switched up at that point. I would have hated that. Now, I'm not going to lie either. I thought Oso was going to get knocked off when I seen the scenes with his kids. You remember that scene when he was playing with his kids and his wife was there before he sent them away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Oso ain't going to make it. After seeing that, that looked like a send-off scene. That's what it looked like. And I think that's why they did that scene. Because it makes people that watch a lot of TV or is a critic like I am, you realize like, oh, they giving him the send-off scene. That's what you start thinking. And that's what I start thinking. You know, but he ain't go, man. Look like Oso might actually survive. Now, he might have some more problems, you know, maybe somebody else come from the DA or somebody else come from the KGB, you know, he might have some more problems, but hopefully he survived. We know his family out of there safe, so that's good, you know, we just waiting to see if Oso could actually get out of there safe, and it's starting to look like, I can't lie, it's starting to look like Franklin gonna survive, Oso might survive. Hey, Leon and Scully, they didn't patch things up, you know, because in my head, I'm like, yo, Scully might switch things up on Leon, but Scully has completely forgiven everybody, like completely. He ain't bugging. He didn't hug Leon. He been in this peaceful uh, stage for a while. He helping Louie. He didn't even beat up Franklin when Louie was there. He like, nah, this Louie work, you know, and she took out her frustration and then when Louie dropped off Franklin, oh, my God, dog. When she dropped off Franklin, if you go back and watch the scene when she dropped off Franklin, when she got in the car, she like, bye, Franklin. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Louie said that like she just set Franklin up a little bit. Franklin don't know. That's how she said. She like, bye, Franklin. Like, hey, you're done, dog. 
And salute to Franklin for putting this plan together because boy is crazy. You know, like I, I'm with the plan up until Teddy called and was like, he changing the plans. When Teddy called and said he changing the plan, I'd have been like, uh, I don't know. Because Teddy like, yeah, just leave him. He like, just leave him. And I'm like, so you just going to be taped up sitting out there waiting <laughs> like on the ground laying? And that's exactly what happened. He laid there to the nighttime. And then, of course, Teddy comes, step on him. Now, Teddy could have had to kill. He did what a lot of people make a mistake and do. He want to torture him and hit him with the needle. And the, Man, you could have just domed him and left him right in that same parking lot that Louie dropped him off in. Like, yo, buddy took out your father. You could have just came up, domed him, took him out. But no, you got this little concoction going and you want to play mad scientist. Teddy think he Dr. Kevorkian. You know what I'm saying? And he cooking up something. No, dog, you got to just take the kill when you can get it. Like Call of Duty, baby. You got to take it when you can get it. You can't always come show him that knife work. You got to come up and just take the kill. But, man, this was a real dope episode man some other things i noticed was one the melody callback scene it was dope to just see her you know but it would have been real dope if she would have actually been able to come back but it was dope to see her then we also got the v scene when and this franklin baby mama i just be calling the v because i'm be saying her whole name people that been on the channel know that but if you knew i call her v she it's like going through something with her pregnancy. Remember, she hit the ground and stuff just randomly. And it made me think, yo, did Teddy poison her or something? Like somehow, some way, did he go in and poison her? Is that how he got back at uh, Franklin without Franklin even knowing? Did he already do this? You know what I'm saying? I already been saying for the longest, I don't think that baby going to get born. I've been saying that for the, like, man, dog, it's no way. Because just looking at the episodes, unless they do a a, a, a thing where they pass, they go forward in time, ain't no way that the we're going to see that baby. You know what I mean? So her falling to the ground, holding her stomach, hey, man, that might be a sign that uh, something has gone terribly wrong, you know, and that'll be on the next episode. I'll probably speak more about that on the preview. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this episode, man. It was uh, real good to me. Was it anything else that y'all seen that you want me to touch on? You know, Snowfall is about to wrap up. You know we doing Power Book 2, right? But people that's new and ain't subscribed, you know we do All-American movies. Man, I'm coming back in the summer. As soon as this little stint comes, because I'm real busy with, like, work life and all that, like, real life. But after that, come sometime I'm coming back, man. We pulling the camera back out, man. But it's Smack the Guru. If you're still here and you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And as always, man, y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.